Climb Index 938 in the evening, Pacific Standard Time. It is May 29th, 2023, Monday, where on Memorial Day, which I see Rosemary, California. Probably called student. To the professors Jenning, both. Professor R and the Professor J that the guys are trying to talk, teach about literacy matters in every generation and every decade because they provide each other knowledge, wisdom, and insight. And I was so grateful being a student of both your classes. These days, I've seen more and more about what could be banning from ignorant people left and right. We're gone back to the 1930s. We're going back to the dark ages. Professors, I grew up reading. Experiment back in the 60s after Scott Carpenter did his thing with the Project Mercury. He went back into his first love, which was oceanography. And he went out to sea with the Navy. And he spent several months in a tin can, several hundred feet. working on a Navy project concerning if man can live under the water. A short time, yeah. And he was among a handful of volunteers that did a flow of science. I read something in elementary school concerning about Sikorsky and his choppers. Or how about having a book about Project Mercury? Project, right after Project Mercury, Project Gemini was the, was the go between the glue. And the testing phase, right after Mercury, just before Apollo, because Apollo could not work unless we had the bugs ironed out in Project Gemini. The carpenter was part of that. No, to go back. He only did the one shot Mercury. He never was part of Gemini. And it was also never part of uh, Apollo either. Or Skylab, for that matter. It was way too old for 
the SDS system. A long time ago, professors, I had a library myself. I inherited from a family old books. Shakespeare, Chaucer, Steinbeck. God, I wish I had all those things. I had all the chance for a long time, but I didn't because he didn't feel my imagination, unfortunately. I mean, even a bear story would have done something about that. Catchman or I would have done something about that. Hell, Fahrenheit 451. Professors, can you say right now Fahrenheit 451 live? Can you say we can compare that to 1930s Germany? J.K. Rowling's band. This is what politics does. When people don't understand what the hell they're talking about, they think it's got right ideas. Even the Holy Bible. Now, I kept debating the idea and the issues concerning about whether or not I want to get into a history major and political science because I thought both of them were valid majors. But so was my first love. And I can't abandon that one. My mistress is literacy. Pen and paper. Some books I could try understanding if if there needs to be limitations on them. We're also talking about freedom of speech. We're talking about the interference of the First Amendment. talking about the attack on the Constitution itself as well. The First Amendment gives us rights for freedom of speech, but also freedom to express and explore. How the hell would Samuel, Samuel Clemens be able to deal with this? How much of his wit can go crazy over this kind of thing? I don't Shakespeare would have a field day over us. Aristotle would have a field day over us. I don't get it. I don't get why people don't understand this. You guys were the latest mentors I've had and appreciated a great deal. They have learned so much from me. I am forever grateful for it. But it looks like now, you, you know what drives me crazy at this point, professors? A long time ago. Didn't have perception, perspective, context. I didn't have understanding or appreciation. Rolling out of high school into college, I wasn't mentally prepared for it. 
I was trying to get out of high school, trying to get out of this stuff. You know, I like to read books. Mathematics suck. Especially when you get an algebra and higher. But when it came down for burning books, burning books, little theatrical thing I want to share with you guys. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Where the character Indiana Jones has to rescue his father. His father is on a hunt for the Holy Grail. And both of them had to go into Germany to rescue a diary that would lead them to the Holy Grail. There was a scene in there that made me so deep sick Even to this day, I feel like. everything I was taught. We would not have this conversation and I would be in jail for life. That's how passionate I felt about books. You guys got imagination. So all the blanks on that. Am I capable again of that again? I realize loss of freedom would be the most grievous mistake or one of them anyway to make. But just crossing that line is also the first mistake. But the zero mistake, the zero law, would be coming up with the idea or the kernel of one. There should have been four laws to man, as there were four laws to human beings, according to Asimov. Just talk to Daniel R. Law. Even he would have a hard time dealing with humanity even as we speak. Understanding why we do the way we do it. actually wanted to save humanity or not, but in essence we're killing ourselves. We're killing the spirit inside of us that wants to journey, wants to adventure, wants to knowledge. Space and deal with a xenomorph. 
but let alone cross galaxies on a floating rock that blasted its way out of Earth's orbit. They're talking about subdivisions in some of my videos on the channel. I deal with the diary of the griever named John Weaver. Which is me. Yeah, I deal with my own personal issues concerning about my own personal hangups I've been having. I'm trying to deal with a lifelong of PTSD, mental illness, and also grieving like crazy when you lose people left and right, and experience death by yourself. Let's see how you guys process all of this. I'm still processing mine. Books were my life. Books were a journey of retention. Hell, I even tried writing me some stories. struggling since I lost my brother back in 2013. Prior to that, it was my mother in 2013. When you lose core family, my God, it tears you apart. Uh, hell, I said before I lost other relatives that I had to put a mole skin on my emotions and function like a robot. I mean, I've been through the, to the experience as a four-year-old and I'm fine. Three times off, three times back. Open heart surgery. I recommend it. But things I had to go through life. Near death experiences. Accidents. It's still a fight. But I needed time. The past few years just to get a handle on my grieving and my emotions are crazy because I needed to keep my mind working in order to get through college. Professor, this wasn't the easiest damn thing to go through, I'll tell you that much. And I was grateful for the time spent in class. Yeah, online was okay, but you know, I'll tell you one thing. COVID's a nightmare and I'm going to go back to class already. We're doing a person not in the zoom. At least I can talk to people that way. Hearing all these idiots out there who want to be a leader of this country and who ignore. purposely ignore things that would have made their lives manageable or meaningful but no, it's not politically expedient because we have to put our own screwed up opinion and we have to make everybody else follow it it's ego professor it's ego their egos have to be in charge of everything 
it's not for the good of the country or good for anybody else. It's good for their own damn ego and their own insecurity. All creatures great and small, I think, would scare the living crap out of them. Can't file murder series, I think, may have been too harsh with them. Agatha Christie. Scared the hell out of them. That means logic. I mean, that means they have to use their hand to think. Well, will be perfect for them. Oh, a bunch of Ahabs. Professors, I hope this video. I hope this video is viewed by you guys. Understand. Literature, certain points of my life are a godsend. I was a sci fi nut growing up. A Trekkie, a Star Wars, a Battlestar Galactic, a, battle, a lot of them. Doctor Who, a Whovian.
Percy and video, audio, and print. The most important things in our life. Right after Mom passed away in 2013, my brother and I decided to go back to college. He tried a little bit, but he couldn't get through it himself. Uh, he managed to make uh, a semester and a half work for him. It's about a year. During that time, I went with him and continued on. Maybe 57 years old, and I'm going to go far down and get hurt. I appreciate what I learned. I appreciated what I had. What I'm going to start on with these days. I appreciate who I am. That's got to mean something, professors. Okay, um, I guess that's about it. Uh, I hope to see you on campus. Seeing all these stories about the books. Isn't it somewhere in the Holy Bible? Because I'm not quite sure if Shakespeare said it. He increases knowledge, increases sorrow. Hold that thought. chapter 1 verse 18 looking at your biblehub.com King James Version. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. That's what new version of it. For it, what did you just do? Okay, it's in Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verses 18. A 
I'm going to end it off right now with the former computer really starts driving me nuts tonight. <laughs>